In this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make some simple customized gifts. If you wanna make a unique design and put it on fabric, there are many ways you can do it. One of them is silk screening. Now you can get a professional to do it, it will cost you, but I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself and it's super fun. The first thing you need to do is decide on a design. Some of you may have noticed I got a new tattoo, my cat Tenzin, which I love very, very much. I've always wanted to have Tenzin tattooed on me. I just, it took me a while to come up with a final design. I've drawn portrait kinds, cartoon kinds, but it didn't quite fit well with me. So I decided to just go with geometric shapes and I love it. So I'm going to print this on a t-shirt. Probably wondering if that is actually a mistake. It is not a mistake. He lost one of his fangs. So every time he opens his mouth, his lip gets stuck on his bottom fang. He always looks like he's snarling, but he's the most affectionate fluff ball ever. I'm gonna make you famous, Tim. In. So now that I've got my design, you need to print it out the exact size you want it on the fabric. Second step is you need to get some organza. Then you need an embroidery hoop, some Mod Podge, a lid off some container, some silk screen paint. I'm gonna get my organza embroidery hoop ready. Pull it tight. You wanna make sure it is super tight, otherwise it just won't work. And then you just trace over your drawing. Now the next step, put Mod Podge in the areas that you don't want the paint to go through. Here's one I've done earlier, and Mod Podge has already dried, and I've left all the lines where I want the paint to go. Now this is a rubber thing. <laughs> I want to put this inside the t-shirt so when I put my print on there, the paint doesn't go through to the other side. Okay, now put the paint at the top. You don't need too much. So then I'm going to grab this, which is my scraper. You can use anything you want as a scraper so long as it's hard and smooth. And just in one swift motion, go from the top, pull it down to the bottom, and that is it. Same with this side. And then you just want to carefully lift it up. And here is the finished product. The lines aren't the best. As you can see, it's a little bit jagged, but that's what happens when you do DIY. And there you have it. Tenzin on a t-shirt. Super happy. So a cool thing is after I'm done with the t-shirt, I can wash off the paint and do another silk screen. So I'm gonna do the exact same design on a tote bag, but in teal, one of my favorite colors. All right, this turned out awesome. Yes. And there you have it. I've missed a couple of spots with the Mod Podge, but it's okay. It makes it unique. <laughs> and I want to give a big shout out to my friend Dee, who actually did my tattoo. When I drew this, she helped me put it in proportion. So thank you, Dee, for doing that for me. And I hope you like it, everybody. So now for the exciting part. Some of you may have watched in a previous episode, I made some notebooks, some magnets, and some coasters. I put them up online for sale. It all sold out very quickly. Some of it, well, actually a lot of it, sold out within 24 hours. I was super, super happy, but I was also really, really overwhelmed because I actually handmade everything. The fastest selling thing was the Kyapit notebook. So many of you wrote in asking me to do more, but I have to keep my word. I've got to keep it limited edition. So I'm sorry, guys, but the good news is I have done another one. Boo! Another one of my favorite words. Ha <laughs> ha. Again, it's limited edition. This time I'm very clever. I pre-make it already. Not put online and then sell and then have to make it and then rush like mad. Oh my God. Okay, more exciting news for you guys. Because the response was so good, Jillian Tan, the founder of Click Network, and myself decided to collaborate and do an online store together. I'm gonna be releasing some stuff from the show and also other stuff that I've designed. It took me a while to think of a name for the online store. So Jillian Tan, Rebecca Tan, because we share the same surname, Tan, we thought what words can we do that has the word Tan in it? We looked online and Tandem came about. Two Tans, one in front of the other. Makes perfect sense. Well, to us it does anyway. The next thing after coming up with the brand name was the logo. I really like pandas and Jillian, she really, really likes alpacas. So I decided to draw an alpaca and a panda on a tandem bike. I ran out of room and I couldn't draw the panda. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came up with this one. So it's kind of coming together at this point. And then this was the last sketch that I did. And so now, this is the final logo. Tandem. Because both our names are tan, right? <laughs> I think it's genius. I don't know if that's just genius to us. Is it? I don't know. I like it. I freaking like it. It's got our surname in it. Tandem, bitches. <laughs> Boom. 
<laughs> I think it's the cutest thing ever. Am I just saying that because I drew it? Is it? No la. I have asked a lot of people what they think and they seem to like it a lot. So I hope you guys like it too because I've decided to print it on other things. Pouches! Which I'm going to be putting up on the online store. Tandemmerch.com T-A-N-D-E-M-M-E-R-C-H dot com Did I get that right? Yes. It's a long word and not good at spelling sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, these are the first products that will have our logo on them. Oh, I'm getting too excited here, I'm sorry. And not only that, I will also be putting up online this to sell. Okay, not this specific t-shirt because it is not perfect. I'll be selling these ones online. See, it's so much better. Professionally done, all the lines are nice and smooth. I chose a black on black design because I like subtlety. Also, I'll be selling the tote bag. I also got it professionally printed. So exciting. I'm gonna sign the one that I DIY myself to make this one a little bit more special. There you go, my autograph. <laughs> I feel so holy. Oh, wow. It's so stupid. But never mind that. If you don't like white, guess what? I've done it in black as well. I'm going tandem crazy, man, I tell you. <laughs> and not only that, if you don't like this shape, there's also this shape and it has a zip. <laughs> See? Now if you want to buy any of these, you can go on tandemmerch.com and all of this will be online. If you buy this, I want to thank you in advance. I hope you like my designs that I worked so very hard on. There will be other stuff online, so keep an eye out. Because some stuff I haven't shown you yet. <laughs> so you're just going to have to check it out to see what it is. I'm going to show you one more thing that you can DIY and customize yourself. I'm going to grab a mug. It's just a plain regular mug. So first I'm going to use nail polish remover. Clean it thoroughly. Make sure there's no grease or anything on there. Next thing is you want to draw on your mug. Okay, so it's very important that you get an oil-based paint marker. If you make any mistakes, it's not a problem because you can just wipe it off with some nail polish remover and it's gone. Boom! And then I'm gonna draw an elephant. Why I'm gonna draw an elephant is because I love elephants too. I got this tattoo for my late stepfather to always remember him by because elephants herd as a family. They stick together, always. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> So once you're done with the design, you want to let it set for four days. If you don't, the chances of it washing off later is very high, okay? After that, put the mug in a cold oven. Set the oven to 220 degrees Celsius, then turn it on. This is so the mug can slowly heat up with the oven so it doesn't crack later. So once the temperature hits 220 degrees Celsius, then you put the timer on for one hour. Baking will actually cause the original white glaze on the mug to melt and allow your marker ink to set in. After one hour, you want to turn the oven off. Just leave it in there. Let it cool down by itself, otherwise it might crack because of the extreme temperature drop. So I've let it cool down and I've taken it out of the oven. That is not it, my friends. This is not the end of the whole cup saga. After you've done the whole baking process, let it cool down, don't use it for another two to three weeks. Yes, you heard right. It takes a very long time, like a month, <laughs> to make a cup. But I've pre-made some for you. I will only be selling a few, my friends, because I don't have a whole lifetime to wait around for mugs. The ink should be pretty stuck on there by this time, but if you do purchase this, please be gentle when you wash it. They're handmade after all. So everything you've seen in this episode, it will be sold on tandemmerch.com. You can purchase anything you like, and if you do decide to do that, thank you so much in advance. With your support, hopefully I can do more. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos one month before they come out on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah!